Well, this coronavirus has shown me, proved to me even, that in a way it's been one of the best things to happen to photography, my photography at least, in many years. So this pandemic has been with us for going on a year now. On and off through various lockdowns, our opportunities to go out and shoot have been severely restricted and limited. So how has it been for you? We've not really been allowed to go out with our cameras and shoot, not in the usual way. So how has your photography been? Are you a better photographer now than you were 12 months ago before all this started? I know I am. I feel I'm a better photographer than I was before the coronavirus hit. So what have I been doing? Well, taking pictures basically. I still think about photography all the time and I've actually taken more pictures in the last year than I ever have before. At least one a day. I never did that before, not so continuously. But of course, I haven't been able to go out in the usual way, not to my favourite landscape locations, not to my favourite cities, all out of bounds of course. Going out for photography in general has been out too. My tripods are, are sat there in the corner, probably seizing up. But on my allowed daily walks for exercise, I do take a camera with me. Initially, this was just my phone. That's all I needed. Just going out, capturing my local area. Doing 10,000 steps, walking three to four miles, an hour and a half out the house, getting exercise and taking a few pics along the way. Plus, more importantly, practicing, keeping my eye in. I did this throughout 2020 in the first lockdown here in the UK. Always first thing in the morning too. The light is better, it's quieter, and I can still get home, process and upload any image I took that morning up to my Instagram and get on with my day. Now people often say to me, they say, Greg, my name's Craig of course, but for some reason they call me Greg. As I say, I posted the results up onto my Instagram each day, as well as making a whole series of videos for my E6 subscription, revealing the story behind each picture and its capture. I found this so useful. It's kept me sane, kept me motivated, and kept my photography going in its limited capacity. Lockdown version three then, this year, saw a change of tack. Still local of course, but now it's winter. The mornings are darker, it's darker at 6.30 a.m. when I go out. So what did I do? Well, in one of my last on location YouTube vlogs I made, uh, you may have seen that I bought a new lens the Olympus 17mm f1.2, a fast prime lens from the Olympus Pro range. Not a necessity for this new lockdown shoot then, but it did seem to be a well-timed purchase. This lens allowed me to capture images before dawn of my local town, handheld. New images that are in addition to the hundreds I took last year. I've scoured my local area once again for new pictures. Armed with one camera and one lens, I walked the same streets time and time again, and still returned home with a new image, a new composition each day. The dark mornings were a new way of looking at my local town. I probably wouldn't have done this if not for the pandemic. I've been out each morning and practiced my photography. I found compositions in places you wouldn't think were photogenic, in places and streets I've walked down hundreds of times before, without even taking a picture on those occasions. I'm seeing things most other people, other photographers even, might easily miss and I've also found all these local subjects and views just as fascinating and enjoyable to shoot as more glamorous subjects and locations. Everyday views then into interesting photos. Doing this has transformed my photography, changed my outlook on life even, changed the way I see my photography and what I want to capture from now on. It's made me appreciate the simple things too. It's changed the way I will now look at a new landscape or my next potential city. I feel that when I get the chance to visit my favourite locations again, I'll see that place in a new light. I will no doubt capture them very differently now. And I'm excited about that idea. I practised, practised and practised the whole of this last year. I've accepted the limitations I have and tried to make the most of them. Everywhere is photogenic, if you look hard enough. And in fact, it's been the most enjoyable photography I have ever done, honest. The camera and lens combo I used this time in the latest lockdown didn't matter. That wasn't essential. Remember, I started out just using my phone each day. You could go out with whatever camera you wanted and just shoot in daylight instead, of course, if you don't have a fast lens. So if you haven't spent your time doing this, don't worry. It's not too late to start and maybe you should start now. 
Start now or when this pandemic is over, but soon. Practice your photography local. Let your local area be your training ground, as it were. Be that photographer you want to be, can be, before you arrive at the next amazing location. Don't wait until you get there before you start practicing. Everywhere is photogenic, no matter where you live. And if you say your area has no picture potential, well then, well, you're just not looking hard enough. The advantage, of course, is that you can get to your local area much quicker and easier. It's accessible. I don't necessarily need wide open landscapes to inspire me. I'll find views to inspire and motivate me in any location. And when you don't have those grand vistas, then you have to think smaller, less dramatic, less grand. You make the most of what you do have. Take a location like Hamnoy on the Lofoten Islands, which is being photographed by everyone and his dog. <coughs> well, except by me. I've not been there yet. Have you? And compare that with a view, say, 10 minutes from your house, which is probably being photographed by, well, no one. One, therefore, is unique, accessible, and no doubt quite beautiful. The other is also beautiful, but a lot less unique and a bit less accessible. Well, unless you happen to live in Hamnoy, of course. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But despite their obvious differences, they should be seen as comparable, equal, the same even, especially by photographers. Perhaps it's just appreciating the simple things in life. If the pandemic hasn't taught us that, then, well, I don't know what else it has. So, shoot local, practice local, use your locality to your advantage. Your future images will benefit from it. Well, in the next video, I'll be talking hip hop and record producers, so tune in for that one. In the meantime, if you just can't get enough of me, which I can quite understand, then remember, there's my E6 subscription to consider. It's where the party's at. See ya.